This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. You're watching Del Marva Life. Take a look at these mountains. Well, we're about to show you a car that you're going to want to take to the mountains and everywhere else. This is the 2024 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition, and it's a pretty cool car. We are here to learn more at Gateway Subaru with senior leasing and sales consultant Kyle Hutchins, who also has the coolest pants on always. You, you never don't have cool pants on, Kyle. You know? Nope, nope. You can you can be fact-checked on that. It's 100% it's true. I think it's true. So this car, first of all, even looking at it, it looks different than your average car. Correct. And, and every sense about, everything about this Outback is different from the other Outbacks that we sell. The Wilderness Edition was designed with the mindset that, hey, Outbacks are adventure vehicles. Yeah. You can take this thing just about anywhere. You can do just about anything you throw at it. Gotcha. So look, let's talk about it. Like, what's this feature here? So you ever driven on the beach or driven up in the mountains and that sun just hits the right angle and blinds you? Well, this is to prevent for that. This this deflects the sun from, from going into your eyes. Whoa, I think that's pretty unique. And then the other thing that I kind of notice is these two pieces, right? These kind of gold pieces right here. What do what those do? So every Subaru has two tow hook points. The Wilderness Edition doubles it up. You have two tow hook points in the front and two tow hook points in the back. That's perfect. Also, I noticed this camera here in the front. Correct. So when you're, when you're driving off-road, this is a, a big thing for a lot of off-road people. If you're driving on a mountain road or if you're driving off, off the beaten path on like a, like a rock trail or something like that, they all want a front camera so you can see exactly what you're about to drive over. So if we walk around here, we can also kind of, even just like stepping right here, you can kind of see how, high, how it's higher up. Correct, so the Wilderness Edition is just shy of an inch higher than the regular. And I know that might not seem like a lot. Yeah. However, when you're talking about approach and departure angle, that inch and a half can be the difference between you going over something and teetering. This thing is just as comfortable on the road as a regular Outback and it's just as capable off-road as a typical off-road SUV would be. Awesome. And it also has, let, let's check out the back here, right? Yep. Little, uh, Cause I want to show everybody the amount of space that's back here. You know, if you, like, oh, open it, there we go, boom. So already the trunk's big. Correct, the, the trunk back here is rather large. For the Outback, when they redesigned it, um, they actually widened it the back up a little bit. Oh, and way. for ease of access, so you don't have to worry about going around front when your hands are full trying to do stuff, pull the levers, <gasps> and there you go. Kyle, that's perfect. That's so because convenient. Because that can be one of the most annoying things when you're trying to get a red figure out how to get the thing yep. down. and. That's amazing. Okay. And then another thing exclusive to the wilderness models, you have Ooh. a matching full-size fifth wheel. Wow. As, as a spare. That's perfect. So if you come around, if anybody knows Outbacks, mm -hmm. you know, Outbacks are the only vehicles that Subaru makes that has mm -hmm. the hideaway crossbars. Right. With the wilderness edition, this whole structure had been redesigned to be able to hold more weight. You get one of those nice rooftop tents, you throw queen size blow up in there and you, your dog, your partner, whatever, all get up there and get off the ground and wow. be perfectly safe. Okay, so let's take a look at this engine here. Can we pop the hood? Sure, absolutely. So the Wilderness Edition only comes with one engine option. Okay. And it is Subaru's turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder boxer. Okay. And for those that don't know, what boxer engine means is, let's put our backs together. Let's put our backs together. Yep, okay. just like this. Okay. Yep. And you punch your uh, right and I'll punch mine, right? Punch my right hand? Yep. Okay, ready, go. So this is what it looks like, punch your left hand. This is okay. what the pistons do. That's why it's called a boxer. Okay. Because the engine is flat and the pistons are going sideways and they punch out just like boxers do. Oh. So that's where boxer engine comes from. Because of the boxer flat four, it sits lower in the engine compartment. And that does two things. A, gives you lower center of gravity for better handling, and B, for a frontal collision, God forbid, the engine is designed to drop down so it takes the brunt of the impact and you're not gonna have to worry about anything coming through the firewall. Wow. So this is the turbocharged four cylinder, intercooler up top. This is everybody's favorite, oil filter 
right on top. Don't have to worry about busting your knuckles if you're doing oil. Of course, I mean, wow. why would you? You just come here, we'll take care of it for you. I love that. Okay, so this car is totally legit. Well, we haven't gotten inside yet, so we I really want to drive it. I want to take sure. a nice test drive and check out the inside features. Absolutely. Because the outside features are amazing. That means the inside features are going to be pretty awesome, too. First, we're going to take a break, though, and Del Marva Life will be right back. This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. You're watching Del Marva Life, and before the break, we were checking out the 2024 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. I got to tell you, I love the outside features of this car and now we're inside the car gonna do a little test drive and uh, the inside i'm already loving I'm of course here with kyle hutchins who's the senior leasing and sales consultant with gateway subaru kyle the inside of this car i'm already obsessed with it yeah dave there there's quite a few things in here that are exclusive to the wilderness mm -hmm. um for starters the seats i mean they're so comfortable yeah, the the, um, the material in here is called StarTex. Mm -hmm. So it's not leather, not cloth, it's somewhere in between. Yeah. Uh, Subaru designed this for, again, outdoor adventure lifestyle. You go hiking and you get sweaty and dirty. You go to the beach and just don't feel like toweling off. Mm -hmm. Or same thing, you go out on the river, swimming around on the river, and you just jump in the car, don't have to worry about it. That's and then amazing. when you get out, it just wipes right off. It's stain resistant, water resistant, dirt resistant. Wow. And then these little, dimples in here or or golf balling i love it that's what keeps you still so if you're wet you're not sliding all over the place it'll hold you locked in place in, the, in your seat especially on these back eastern shore country roads that is just it okay well this is already comfortable but i am I, we gotta we gotta give this a test drive right yeah, absolutely it's mean, great so we're gonna go on kind of your your test driving route correct okay. correct all right so we're, we're gonna put this thing in drive kyle all right. You and me going for a drive. While you're driving, I'm going to put the map on so we can see exactly where we're going. Okay. So, and the thing I notice about this screen is it's big. Yeah, so it's like basically having a tablet in your car. I'm not sure if you saw in the front of the car underneath the mountains, but there's a front camera. Um, right, yep. So the way you access that is while you're driving, there's a button that says view. I'm going to push it. You just hit the view button and depending on the speed that you're driving mm -hmm. at this section of the head unit is going to come up as a camera and i know that subaru like always has the safety features that is next correct. level so this is um like no or like all other subarus you're going to have the eyesight safety system mm -hmm. standard uh with your pre-collision braking your adaptive cruise control uh lane departure warning lane keep assist blind spot detection and even something called um, high-speed vehicle alert. It's going to alert you on whichever side that is coming up that, hey, don't get over, there's a fast car coming up. So is this a car where if I took it on the beach too, I'd have a little bit more control if I'm driving on the sand? Because driving on the sand can be kind of stressful. Correct. And, and I've, I've driven on the sand on Assateague with my personal vehicles. I've had Outbacks and Foresters out there. I have had the pleasure of driving a wilderness out there, and this really does step it up a notch. And then, Kyle, I've got a lot going on up here. Like, I can see my car right there. I see my speed. I see everything. So that car is your vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're ready for cruise control, oh. you're going to turn cruise control on with this button. Okay. And now up top, you see where it says ready. Yep. And then right in front of your car, there's a white line. Yep. Now there's two, now there's three, uh -huh. now there's four. So okay. those white lines are car lengths. The eyesight system is gonna automatically slow you down and keep you at that preset car length away from that car in front of you. That is remarkable. The wilderness models do come standard with automatic headlights with automatic high beams and uh -huh. steer and responsive headlights. So what that means, as long as the conditions are clear, it's automatically gonna turn your high beams on for you. And also while you're driving, if you turn the wheel to the left, your your left headlight's gonna turn with you and your right one's gonna stay straight and vice versa if you turn right, your right headlight's gonna turn with you, your left one's gonna stay straight to broaden up your field of view at nighttime so you can see that sneaky deer that's hiding around the corner that's about to jump. I have to say I really like the high beam thing too, especially because I'm somebody like sometimes you can forget to turn them off like because yep. you get so used to driving. And, and these days, these newer cars, the headlights are ridiculously bright with yeah. the LED headlights. And the Outback being the same. The, the headlights are ridiculously bright. All right.
All right, Kyle, I'll tell you what, that was a nice ride. See, I told you. Yeah. So, you know, if somebody's interested in a car like this, what are the, did it, can they just contact you and say, hey, I'm interested, yep. 2024 Subaru Outback Wilderness, I saw it on Del Marva Life, I've got to have it. Yeah, all they got to do is uh, call up here, ask for me, and I will show them all the ins and outs of the car. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, hopefully that's their next car. Yeah, that's it. Here it is, guys. 2024 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. It is a really cool car, smooth ride. You're going to love it. All right, thank you so much, Kyle. Absolutely. Life. We'll be right back.